Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on Wondering Why by the Red Clay Strays. Um, it's a really cool song. I randomly came across it today. Um, someone requested one of their other songs, and I just listened to this song and thought it's a cool song, so I thought I'll teach you it. But just before I do teach you it, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, leave me some comments in the comment section, including what songs you'd like me to do next. Um, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, keep me doing this. Um, and you want the tabs for this as well, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. A link to that is in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Now the song is pretty much the same all the way through. Um, we've got another two lines for like a middle eight and the bit after the middle eight. But most part of the song is just this line. And it sounds like this. Okay, so to play it, we've got an E chord. First finger on G1. Second finger, A2. Third finger, D2. And we play all the strings. Now the song is in 6-8, so it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, and we've got two bars of E, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm playing on the 1, and the four. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Into bar three, and we've got an F sharp minor seven chord. Your first finger is going to bar across all the strings on the second fret, and you're going to place your third finger on A four. Same idea. Two bars of that. We then have an A E chord. You could do the bar chord version of it up at the fifth fret, uh, where you bar your first finger on the fifth fret, second finger G six, third finger A seven, little finger on D seven. Or you could play just your normal A chord down here. First finger D two, second finger G two, third finger on B two. We've just got one bar of that, and then a bar of B. So for B, again, you could play the bar chord version of it, same as A, but up two frets. But I'm going to play first finger A2, and third finger flat cross D4, G4, and B4. One bar of that. Back to E for a bar. And then B for a bar. So you've got E for two bars, F sharp minor 7 for two bars. You could play an F sharp minor if you wanted as well. And then... A for a bar, B for a bar, E for a bar, and then B for a bar. So it sounds like this. And it just repeats that around the whole song. You can put some more rhythm into it, build it up, play along to the song. Um, and then there is a middle eight, which goes. So this is like the little instrumental part that changes. Uh, we've got a G sharp major chord. First finger barred on the fourth fret. Second finger G5. Third finger A6. Little finger D6. So G sharp major for two bars. We then move up a fret and you've got A for a two bars. We then take that same shape down to fret two and that's F sharp. We've got two bars of that. Then we might as well keep that same shape, move it up to the seventh fret. And that's a B chord, two bars of that. Uh, so it'll sound like this. That 
then go straight on to this next line, which is a slight variation on the first line that keeps repeating all the way around. So you've got an E chord, which just lasts for two bars. Um, I know it's, I've written two bars there, but um, it holds out, so you don't have to keep playing it. We then have G sharp minor, first finger barred on the fourth fret, third finger A6, little finger D6. Uh, and that's the G sharp minor. And it does some arpeggios here, it goes. So I'm just going down E, A, D, G, D, A. And then it does the same with an A chord. Uh, and then goes just A for A for one bar, so you get then B for a bar, and then E start building up with some chords, and then and then the last bar is B. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. So you play an E chord, just let it hold for the two bars, then G sharp minor. It, it, you can play the arpeggios or the chord, A for a bar, B for a bar, and then E start building it up, and then B. So the whole of that goes like this. Um, it then just goes to the first line, which keeps repeating till the end of the song. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that song and found it useful. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, giving me a like on the video, press the notifications, and leave me some comments as well. I've never heard of this song before. It's a beautiful little song. Um, so let me know where you know this from, song from, and uh, any ideas for future songs will be amazing as well. And if you love what I'm doing, you wanna support me, support the channel, and you want the tabs for this and loads of other songs, then I'll put it on my Patreon page. A link to that is in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I do really appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.